Hi everybody, I'm Debbie. Welcome to Honey What's for Dinner. Today we're going to be making a pork loin roast with a bone in and some baked apples to go with it. You're going to need two and a half pound roast, a couple of, I'm using Granny Smith apples, cinnamon and sugar, about a quarter of a cup of oatmeal, a couple of tablespoons of butter, half a cup of apple juice, and half a cup of water. And this is just some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. I'm gonna take the oatmeal and the butter, mush this around. That's cinnamon and sugar. The best tools are these tools. Just mush this up together. Make sure you washed your hands before you start this project. You just want to get this mixture to be crumbly. We're almost there. That's good. Now we're just gonna stuff this in our apples. Next, we're just gonna take the spice rub and sprinkle that liberally over our pork roast. Rub that in, pat that into the meat. Now that we've seasoned our meat up and we've got that rub all nicely patted in, we're just going to take a little apple juice and water and pour that in the bottom of the pan. And that's what we're going to use for our pan drippings at the end. We're going to put this roast in a 550 degree oven, just like I did with the prime rib recipe. Then we're going to turn down the oven to 325 degrees. The very high heat in the oven will sear this meat so that the juices will stay in. This is a two and a half pound roast, about 20 minutes per pound. So it's gonna take approximately an hour, give or take a few minutes. You wanna cook this to about 145, 150 degrees because when you let it rest, it's gonna have a carry over time. So it will continue to cook even after it's come out of the oven. And we're gonna put this in the oven. I'll see you in an hour. Our roast has come out of the oven. We've let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes. Baked apples are nice and soft. The streusel inside is a nice and crispy. Let's cut into this meat. I'm gonna start by removing the bones. Now all I'm gonna do is drag my knife along the edge of the bone. Here you have it, beautiful. Pork is nice and juicy. Honey, this is what's for dinner. I hope your honey enjoys their dinner. If you try this recipe, I'd love to know. Is there something you'd like help making? Let me know in the comments below. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday with some bonus stuff thrown in here and there. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss any of the surprises. Don't forget to follow me on social media, and thank you for coming and cooking with me. I'll see you next time on Honey, What's for Dinner? Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Don't throw these bones away. These make a great lunch the next day. You just brush them with your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm using bone sucking sauce. Plop these under the broiler for a few minutes and you've got a great lunch. It's an extra bonus from your roast. Have a great week.